What's up YouTube LND here? Uh, today we're gonna be playing some DVD. Um, the new chapter came out, chapter 5, and uh, a big update came out. So we're gonna go ahead and read through some of this, I think. Uh, okay, this is not as big. Um, new content added, the location, the Red Forest, map, Mother's Dwelling, the Huntress. Just did the perk display in the game HUD to more clearly show perks from other players. Change to position of the lobby message so that you're more visible and have less overlap with UI elements. Okay. Bug fixing. That's a lot of stuff that has been fixed. Uh, to lose their items and add-ons when the host leaves match, please know only includes when pressing leave. Pulling the internet cable is a separate issue. Okay, I don't... I. There's there's the full bug fix if you want to sit down and read it. I'm probably not going to read that right now. Um, my days have been spent getting blood cap for the new killer, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, beautiful. They did do the four. Let's check out David King real quick. Let's see what his other stuff is. Because <clears throat> I'm not going to spend anything on this dude. So just... I don't really care for how he looks or anything. Oh, he wears sweatpants. That's nice. All right, we'll leave that for that. All right, new killer. Here she is. She's fucking massive. And battle axe. Okay, blood one. Let's do the shit. All right, we're gonna spend five hundred thousand blood points on the new killer. Last night I got. Okay, I think that's all the same. Oh, I see they ch changed blood webs. Doesn't start with three normally, does it? Maybe it does. Stupid. Uh, I'll read through some of these add-ons and shit after we get our points spent. Let's read it, these two add-ons. A copper pin, or a shiny pen. A copper pen defaced beyond recognition, yet polished to a high sheen. Pillaged from a particularly difficult prey. Slightly increases your movement speed while winding your throw action. It's kind of cool. A coarse stone. The stone is too coarse to do any good. A blade damaged by inflicts awful open wounds. Hit target suffers from hemorrhage status. Effects for 30 seconds. Okay, so they added a new status. I guess that's heavy bleeding. Maybe that's what they're called, the heavy bleeding now. Burris toxin. I got toxin applied to the hatchet's blade. The Burris snake toxin causes tiredness in such small amount. Hit target suffers from exhausting status for 30 seconds. That's pretty cool. First aid bandages. Bandaged haft. First aid bandage securely rolled and attached to the hatchet's haft. Slightly increases the cooldown time between hatchet throw stacks. Okay. Amanita toxin. A toxin applied to the hatchet's blade. The Amanita mushroom's toxic numbs the mind. Hits the target suffers from blindness status. So that's the first time the killer can blind the survivor. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is our first unique perk here. Beast of Prey. Your loss for the kill is so intense that your connection with the entity is momentarily lost, making you totally unpredictable. The red stain disappears for 15 seconds when Bloodlust activates. Beast of Prey has a cooldown of 120 seconds. That's a long fucking time for a cooldown. Um, I'm not sure that perk's that good. It's kind of a, the, a cool uh, thing for it though. Um, oh shit, that was a, that was an add-on, I didn't even realize it. There's some bloody party streamers. Got un, uh, not unrelenting, what's this called? Or wait, isn't it unrelenting? Yes, it is. Didn't get any new add-ons there. Okay, uh, once again, no new add-ons. I don't know if I'll pass through the blood web and just show 
the stuff that's cooler or if I'll do everything. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I would like to do at least one match after leveling up. Okay, I probably should go for that perk. I don't think the entity shows up and starts eating blood web stuff until level 10 anyway, but you never know. Anything new here? Nope. I got brutal strength already, so that's something I wanted on this killer. This is no one escapes death. So alright perk. This is going to be her second unique perk. This one oh hey look there's an ultra rare offering. Territorial Imperative. Unlocks potential in one aura's reading ability. Survivor's auras are revealed to you for three seconds when they enter the basement and you are more than 32 meters away from the basement entrance. Territorial Imperative can only be triggered once every 60 seconds. Now, I know for a fact that they had a different um, thing on the wiki, so I don't know if they got the things wrong if they changed it or if maybe the one on the wiki <clears throat> was uh the final stage but usually i think they show what the teachable perk says and that's usually the first stage of it so i, I this reads different from what i remember the wiki having it say i don't think i'm gonna get this offering oh baby I didn't really need to waste the blood points on that, but I like that sound. Alright. What's the fuck is this? Okay. You sued... Wait. You seed brew. A toxic applied to the hatchet's blade. The thick brew is mainly composed of you seed, which gives it paralytic... Par paralytic capabilities. Hit suffers... From the hindered status effect for 15 seconds. What is hindered? I don't know what that is. So we got Sloppy Butcher here. Um, I mean, I'm going to grab... I don't care if I lose that perk. If it grabs the perk, I really don't care. We might make it to level 15. Okay, we got Deer Stalker. That'd be nice to have. Leather Loop. This leather strap tied in a loop can be attached to a belt to allow easy transportation of tools. Start with one extra hatchet. Increases maximum carried hatchet amount by one. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that right away. I'm also gonna grab that brutal strength too. Painted river rock slightly increases the chance to be sent to the Red River Forest when burnt. Okay, I thought that was an add-on. We got a couple Mori's here. Deerstalker 2. Core Stone. Uh, that one's one we already got. This one isn't though. Mana Grass Braid. A circular decorative... <clears throat> a circular decorative braid made from mana grass. This memory of lost little one fills the huntress with rage and focus. Moderately decreases hatchet wind up time. That's alright. Grab this Mori. Probably grab this too. Pugnant file. The clear liquid has a very particular stench that can be recognized and tracked by some animals. Lar lockers auras are shown to you within a 36 meter range. Okay, so that's made for finding the hatchets. Uh, grab that. Grab oh shit, I should have grabbed the the off that offering instead. I don't care for the map offerings. Alright, so this is her third unique perk. 
Hex. Huntress Lullaby. Of course it's a fucking Hex. That's gonna ruin that perk, probably. A Hex rooting is a power in despair. Your hunt is an irresistible song of dread which muddles your prey's attention. Survivors receive a 2% regression penalty when missing any skill check. Each time a survivor is hooked, Huntress Lullaby grows in power. 1 to 4 tokens, time between a skill check warning sounds and the skill check becomes shorter. 5 tokens, no skill check warning. The hex effects persist as long as the related hex totem is standing. I personally think they really fucked up with that. They should not have made that a hex. A shiny pen. A copper pen to face beyond... I think I read that one already. Is this a loop? Leather loop, yep. I want to grab these. Oh shit, which one do I... Uh, oak haft. A polished haft which allows you for quick and sl sly manipulation of deadly tool. Moderately increases the cooldown time between hatchet throws attacks affected by tinkerers. Okay, this is movement speed while winding your throw, and this one decreases the cooldown. I don't think I have an oak hatch, so I'm going to grab that one. Alright. So now the entity should... Oh. What's this? Hex Thrill of the Hunt. I don't really care about that. Venomous Concoction. A toxic concoction applied to the hatchet's blade. The murky concoction is mainly composed of burrow snake venom, which gives it a fatigue capability. Hit target suffers from exhaustion static for 90 seconds. Okay, here's another one that I did. Deer skin gloves. Cured leather gloves that protect the hand and give sure grip. Moderately decreases the hatchet's reload time at lockers. Okay, I'm gonna grab... Don't think... Okay, that's gonna grab that... Shiny pen. Okay, I think I'm gonna start going for... Uh, I'm just gonna grab the offering, or the add-on. We might... Nah, we're not gonna make it to 20. Iron grass. I really don't care about iron grasp. I'm gonna grab as many of these add-ons as I can. Flower babushka, a clean and colorful cure chief, abandoned with flower, adorned with flower pattern. This memory of a lost little one fills the huntress with rage and focus. Can you okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Sloppy butchers on there again, really don't fucking care. Alright, so this is probably going to be the last one we can do. I'm gonna go straight for this perk actually, since this is tier two. Alright, so we got that. Survivor's pudding, I kinda wanna grab, but I mean I can get two more add-ons now. Or I can wait. I'm just going to grab these two add-ons. The survivor pudding gets taken. It gets taken. I really don't care. It didn't get taken anyway. So. Okay. I right, got two, three things from 20. Which would give us two perks. Or three perks. So. See. We're going to go brutal strength. I could. I'll wait to test out the other things. I'm going to go. Brutal Strength, and, uh, I don't fucking know, Deerstalker. Oh, look at all the add-ons we got. Core Stones. See, we got three of these. Nah, that, I don't think that's a good one. Moderately decreases hatch reload time. I don't really think that's the best either. Hemorrhage. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that's heavy bleeding. An extra hatchet. Cooldown, th th probably that one. Movement speed. Okay, that one sounds good. What offerings do we got? Do we have an offering for the new map? We did get one, I believe. Painted River Rock. Alright. So I'm going to go do that. Um, queue times are probably going to be fucking ass. Plus, I want to check to see how long this is. So I'm going to save this recording. Start up another one. And then hopefully we'll do one match. Um... In this video with this, I'll cut down that blood web a little bit if I have to. Um, but yeah, so I'll be right back, guys.
Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to be notified when my new content is released, click the subscribe button on screen. And if you're looking for more videos to watch, click on the links to the right to be taken to either playlist there, or click the link on the left to be taken to that video.